So yeah, hi, Paul Griffin's my name. I'm an infectious diseases physician and clinical microbiologist and the director of infectious diseases at Marta Hospital. I've also had a very extensive role in clinical trials, having been the, the principal investigator and medical director of a, a phase one uh, research site for, for a long time and have a lot of experience in clinical trials, having been the principal investigator on over 150 clinical trials so far. And I also have a, a few other roles in terms of uh, uh, advising uh, a number of different companies companies and uh, also have an active role in some medical legal work. So I have a, a diverse array of uh, roles at the moment that also includes, sorry, uh, teaching. I have a big uh, teaching role with the University of Queensland. So yeah, a big mixture of roles at the moment. My interest in clinical trials has uh, started with just a, a focus on malaria, human challenge trials. I then diversified, I guess, into doing clinical trials in, in all therapeutic areas, but more recently have focused somewhat in uh, clinical trials in infectious diseases, particularly uh, vaccines, um, as well as therapies for certain infections. So I've been the principal investigator on eight COVID-19 vaccine studies and continue to do a lot of work, particularly with RSV and influenza vaccines, but you know, vaccines for a large number of different infectious diseases. Yeah, look, it's interesting when I look back. I mean, I started off as a very uh, junior person in, in clinical trials, helping uh, some senior colleagues who I look up to, uh, particularly with the Malaria Human Challenge studies. And then because I really liked clinical trials and, and uh, gained some experience, I progressed to a, a more senior role. And uh, I think it was just that opportunity to get started initially. I think for clinicians in particular, it's very hard to get experience in clinical trials. And so just the opportunity to do that at, a, at the right time really helped me. And then I was fortunate to be able to get a, a substantive role at a, at a phase one site that really gave me a, a really good education and experience in clinical trials more broadly. Look, it's fascinating what's really happened with health literacy, particularly to do with vaccines over the course of the pandemic. I'd like to think that some of those things have been positive and that people will ask the right questions and be interested to know um, a little bit more about vaccines. But I also fear that the misinformation is still highly prevalent. A lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about vaccines in general. So we might face some challenging discussions around even routine vaccines. And I think a reduction in routine vaccine uptake is something we're already starting to see. But I think we just need to recalibrate a little bit, encourage people to seek out reputable sources and everybody involved from, from clinicians, uh, GPs, pharmacists, specialists and people in clinical trials to, to let people know that there are reputable sources of information and, and that the clinical trial and the approval process is just so rigorous that people need not be fearful of vaccines that we're using, but it is good to encourage them to, to want to be informed and to ask the right questions and we should be prepared to, to give people that information, whether it be consenting them for a clinical trial or for a, a routine vaccine. I think health literacy may have improved, but I think that's potentially been outweighed by misinformation that is still circulating. And I think we need to have a really active campaign of encouraging people to seek out their information from reputable sources. And I just don't think we've done that enough. There's still so much misinformation out there that, that uh, can overwhelm people and make it hard for, for people who genuinely want to be informed to make the right decision. So I think we all have a part to play there. I think the main thing is just take opportunities if they're presented. I mean, you know, being mindful of uh, work-life balance and being too busy, I was really fortunate that I had some great opportunities early on and I, I took those and, and ran with it and, you know, got the experience to, to know that I really liked clinical trials and was then able to progress with that. So if you're presented with the opportunity to, to help out, um, take those opportunities, learn as much as you can and, and be uh, eager to be involved and, you know, who knows where things can go if that happens.